Welcome to the Registers Report. My name is John Buckley. I'm the Register of Deeds of Plymouth County. This show is about Plymouth County real estate. Uh, the numbers, as we've talked about for a while, are pretty dismal, is the word we use. Our real estate is clearly in the doldrums uh, between high interest rates, um, low inventory, and high sale prices. Uh, it's really slowed down our marketplace. I was at a meeting of the statewide registers yesterday up in Boston, and everyone is going through the same uh, situation. Uh, it, it, so it's the same impact everywhere. Uh, it's something uh, that is cyclical, and at some point when the rates come back down again and marketplace gets a little hotter, um, it, it'll start to pick up again, hopefully uh, by the spring. But let's get right to our numbers for the month of January. So we had 414 deeds recorded in January, um, less than the 533 in December. We're about 19% lower than, than last January at this time. Um, so a year to date is only one month, so we're down 20% year to date. Uh, next image you're gonna see is of sales of property. Uh, we list uh, sales for all of our 27 communities from Abington down to Whitman, uh, 26 towns, one city, the city of Brockton. Uh, the largest sales have traditionally been Plymouth and then Brockton, and that has happened once again in the month of January. Uh, next, you're gonna see another pretty dismal number of mortgages. When the rates went up, um, everyone stopped refinancing. So they just mostly mortgages used to purchase property. There were 816 mortgages recorded in January, uh, less than the 923 in December, and we're down about 15% compared to last January's 958 mortgages, and again, year to date, down 15%. Again, when the rates come down, we'll have more action. Um, we always follow foreclosure issues, particularly since the meltdown in 2008, uh, very carefully. There were 16 foreclosure deeds across Plymouth County in January. Uh, foreclosure deed is when a lender has taken back a property usually for failure to pay, can be a health issue, can be a job issue. Uh, a lot of different issues get in the way, um, but that is when the transition comes from ownership by you to ownership to a lender. Um, clearly, um, if you're in trouble, uh, make some action to try to help that. Um, and the foreclosure notice stage is a good chance to do that. Um, so there were 50 foreclosure notices in January. The foreclosure notice is the first document we see at the Registry of Deeds that shows someone's in trouble. We've been working with an organization called NeighborWorks. Every month we send them all the properties that have received a foreclosure notice. They send out a document to them offering to help them Maybe they can help them do some kind of modification to their mortgage. Uh, but the bottom line is, if people wait when they're in trouble, they're going to have very uh, great difficulty in getting themselves situated. Nobody wants to lose a home. We don't want anybody to lose a home. The, the upset to families and people across uh, the county when they lose a home is very, very significant and negative uh, for a community. Uh, when we see zombie properties in communities, that means properties that have been abandoned, it's very difficult for a community uh, to deal with that. Um, and so we work very hardly with that, closely rather, with that program with NeighborWorks to make sure that doesn't happen. 
And you're going to see a list now of foreclosure and foreclosure foreclosure deeds in notices by communities. You still see a lot of zeros. During COVID, the um, federal government shut down the ability to foreclose on property. Lenders are still getting caught up, uh, and it's going to take a while before their machinery uh, to do the foreclosures are back and organized. But you still see communities, particularly Brockton and Plymouth, nine for notices for Brockton, uh, seven for Plymouth, uh, that are having more difficulty than other communities, certainly based upon the size, but also possibly based on the composition of those communities. So if you're, again, if you're in trouble, uh, reach out. Um, everyone wants to help you. Don't be embarrassed. It's a great way to uh, deal with your issue.